I'm going to try my best to keep this review as short as possible, but I do need to say before I start that this is the first time I've had to see a film that I wanted to review twice in a row. The reason I had to see this movie twice in a row is because our theater did not get this movie in 3D as we advertised, so unfortunately I had to go to a nearby theater in order to watch it in 3D. Because while I don't support the whole 3D craze, if the movie's in 3D, I'm going to watch it in 3D. And I'm sad to say that the 3D sucks! I mean, it really sucks! In fact, the 3D for Clash of the Titans was so bad that I was forced to go back to my theater later that day and watch it again because it was my hope at the time that the 3D had messed up the special effects. Sure enough, that was the case. With the 3D version of this movie, the special effects are almost comical. There are just scenes that are ridiculously bad. However, if you watch it in 2D, these scenes are at least bearable now. They're not comical. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, why is the 3D so bad for this movie? I'll explain. While this movie was in post-production, a little movie was released by the name of Avatar. Because Avatar was so popular, studios are now rushing to make their movies in 3D. Because a lot of studios now believe that with the popularity of Avatar, the next big wave in cinema is going to be 3D. It now leaves some studios that film movies in 2D to want to make them 3D in post-production, which I believe is a terrible mistake. And it's quite obvious it was a mistake with this movie. If they had just left this movie in 2D, it may have been okay. And in fact, watching this movie again in 2D, after watching it the first time in 3D, I actually enjoyed it a bit more. Now that's not saying much, because I didn't enjoy the movie much anyway. So for those of you wondering what this movie is about, or for those of you who haven't seen the original to this movie, here's what you've got. You have this character who happens to be a demigod by the name of Marcus Wright. Oh no no, I'm sorry, I mean Jake Sully. Oh no no, I'm sorry, I mean Perseus. I'm sorry, I know that seems like an odd joke, but seriously, in every movie I've seen Sam Worthington in, he's been the exact same character. Sure, they've had different names, they've had different motivations, but they've been the exact same character. But I digress. Long story short, Perseus's mission throughout this movie is to kill the Kraken. What is the Kraken? Well, it's the bastard son of Hades. Okay, so how do you kill the Kraken? Well, you need the head of Medusa. Well, how do you get to Medusa? Uh, so on and so on, you see where I'm going with this. The whole movie is a constant line of, we need to go here, we need to go there, we need to go here, we need to go there. And the movie is just filled with trial after trial after trial. Even though this movie runs for a little over two hours, it went really quick. It is really hard to keep up with this movie because they are throwing so much information at you so quickly that it's hard to keep up. Now, so far it seems as though I've been bashing on this film pretty hard, but the movie did have a couple of good things going for it. First and foremost, I really did like the character design in this movie. The monsters and the creatures that you do see actually looked pretty cool. There's a scorpion fight scene that occurs early in this movie, and that fight scene was actually pretty fun. I liked it. Also, the character design of Medusa and the Kraken looked pretty damn cool. However, good character design cannot carry an entire movie. With a movie such as this, it'd be pretty much pointless to try and critique the performances or the dialogue or anything like that. Because this type of movie isn't about that. To be honest, I would have been happy with this movie if I was just entertained. If I had gone in and the action scenes were great and I was able to follow the plot, I would have been entertained. There was only one scene where I actually felt entertained and it was that scorpion fight scene. The rest of the movie, I was either bored or I felt as though the movie was rushing. And even though it's kind of pointless to bring up performances, I do want to say that Liam Neeson did do a very good job as Zeus. 
while the rest of the cast seems as though they're just going through the motions, Liam Neeson actually did a very good job. However, his performance alone cannot bring up the rest of this movie. So, final rating. As I mentioned before, if this movie had just kept me entertained, I would have let it slide. But it did not keep me entertained. With the exception of one good performance, and some pretty good character design, this movie has very little going for it. So, if you are a fan of the original Clash of the Titans, I suggest you stick with that one. I'm going to give this movie two stars. If you are really yearning to see this movie, I would suggest one of two things. One, either wait until it comes out on DVD to rent it, or two, go and see it at an early bird or matinee price at your local theater in 2D. Please see this movie in 2D. If nothing else, I certainly hope this movie teaches studios a valuable lesson. Just because one movie does well in 3D does not mean all movies will do well in 3D. If you want to make your movie in 3D, sure, go ahead. But know you're going to make it in 3D when you start filming. Don't turn around in post-production and say, oh, I want to make this movie in 3D. Because nothing takes the audience out of a movie more than watching stray particles of hair floating around in their face throughout the entire movie. So, take care.